are serving the living God. You will make you happy in your life. Either good or bad. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit will comfort you. All you need in your life is accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. And you will be happy in your life. If you have Jesus Christ, you have everything. But if you don't have Jesus, my brother, my sister, you are nothing. You are a loser. Hallelujah. Search for him and you will be blessed. Search for, search for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let him be your king. Let him be your father. Let him be your everything. Hallelujah. Let Jesus Christ be your number one in this earth and everywhere. If you want to go to heaven, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And he will bless you. And he will take you to heaven. Hallelujah. You need Jesus Christ more than your house, more than your wife, more than your money, more than everything that you are looking for. Let Jesus Christ to be your number one in your life. You are serving the living God. I always encourage people about the word of God. If you don't have God, I'm telling you, you lost. Love your neighbor as yourself. Number one, the golden rule. Hallelujah. All the time, many people, they hate each other. That is not love. You need Jesus Christ. He is love. You need the Holy Spirit in your life. Hallelujah. I'm trying to encourage you if you want to go to heaven, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and as my Savior. Without that, you can never go to heaven. You need Him. I need Him. Everybody needs Him. And He is ready to accept everyone. If you come to Him, He will accept you. So my brothers and sisters, let's come together and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. Hallelujah. Everything that you are doing in this earth, my dear brother or sister, put God face in your life. Think of him all the time. If you think of him all the time, I'm telling you, you will never be the thing. Hallelujah. You will be the head all the time, not the tail. We are serving the living God. The God that we are serving, his name is Jesus Christ. As I always encourage people, you need Jesus Christ in your life, my dear. You need Jesus Christ in your marriage. You need Jesus Christ in your home. You need Jesus Christ in your workplace. You need Jesus Christ wherever you go. You need Jesus Christ. Allow the Holy Spirit to control your life. Rather than the worldly things. I have this, I have that, I have that. It's not your property. It's not for you. One day you are going to die and leave them. That's my motto. I always say this. You have a big crock back of you, alarm. Hallelujah. One day you will live in this earth and you will forget everything that you have. So my dear, I just want to encourage you to accept Jesus Christ. I don't know what is worrying you. I don't know what you are thinking about. You are thinking about the word blessings, my dear. Forget about these word blessings and think about Jesus Christ. Think about him. Hallelujah. And he will help you. 
He is the way and the truth. No one can come to the Father but through, through Jesus Christ. I'm trying to encourage you, my dear. I'm trying to encourage you by the word of God. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for your sons and daughters. Father, protect them and guide them. Reveal yourself to them. Let them know you as you reveal yourself to Paul on the road of Damascus. Your sons and daughters need you, Father. Bless them because you are God. Without you, Jesus, we are not in this earth. My dear, accept Jesus Christ. Father, I commit them to your hand. Your word can change their life. One word of God can change your life. I'm telling you, accept one word, just one word of God. You need Jesus Christ, whatever that you are doing. Either you are rich, you are poor, you are sick. Anybody, you need Jesus Christ. I said you need Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. And allow him to come into your life. Hallelujah. And you will be blessed. I always encourage people. But I'm trying to encourage you. You can share this video and subscribe. Hallelujah. To your friends. Hallelujah. I always encourage people. My name is Pastor Yawade. May God bless you and give you your heart desire. Hallelujah. I want God to bless you. But before he will bless you, I want you to come to him. Accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. One day, one day, we are going to die. For example, I, I just want to make an example here. You see this paper? If this paper is gold, yeah, what is if this paper is gold and this paper worth about 100 billion pounds, hallelujah, it's mine. I'm holding it, it's mine. Hallelujah. I'm holding 100 billion pounds in my hand, it's mine. Listen to this. When you fall asleep, like It will do what? It will drop. Hallelujah. You see? It fall down from my hands. Means it doesn't belong to me. I just hold it. One day I will die and leave it. You understand that? One day I will die and leave it. God has set a time for me and for you. For example, hallelujah, this is my clock. I set it to five o'clock. Hallelujah. When it's five o'clock, the alarm will ring. Either I am bathing, I am eating, I am drinking, I am on top of somewhere, I have anywhere. Hallelujah. When the alarm ring. Hallelujah. <laughs> you, you can never do anything. It's life. Hallelujah. What I'm trying to say is, when God brought us in this earth, he set alarm for us. The alarm, the clock is inside you. You don't know either the alarm clock is going to stop 
today, tomorrow, every minute or every second, you don't know. So your alarm clock can ring anytime. When the alarm clock rings, that's your life. Your end. That's the end of you. Every time. That's, that's what the Bible says. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. The time for everyone. Hallelujah. So there's a time. A time to die. A time to heal. A time to laugh. Hallelujah. Everything, there's a time. So there's a time for you to die. So which means there's a lamp clock somewhere in, in you. God has set a time for you to die. Hallelujah. Either you will get car accidents. Either you will fall down and die. Either you sleep and die. Either you drink water and die. Every die is die. Or every death is death. But all you need in your life is Jesus Christ. When you die, he will take you. Holy Spirit will take you to heaven. But if you don't have Jesus, the spirit of devil will take you to hell. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I just want to encourage you about the word of God. Because you don't know what is your time now to die. Yes. Anything can happen to you anytime. Anything can happen to me anytime. So we have to accept Jesus Christ. We have to follow his word. Hallelujah. We have to allow his word to uh, live in us or to dwell in us. Hallelujah. This is all you need in your life. Love each other. Love one another in your life. Otherwise, one day, hallelujah, you are going to be changed. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you. I just want to encourage you about the word of God. Forget about everything that you have. Your house, your cars, your clothes, your money, your everything. Hallelujah. One day, you will leave them. Remember this. One day, you will die and leave them. You need Jesus Christ in your life. He is your property. The word of God. Make the word of God as your, your property. This word of God. Word of God to be your property. Not your house. Not your cars. Hallelujah. You need this. This, this is what you need in your life. Hallelujah. The word of God. Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ. You need this. In your brains, you need this one in your heart. Hallelujah. Only the Bible, the word of God can take you to heaven. That's what the Bible says. Subscribe it. Send it to your brother. Send it to your sisters. And let them hear about this. Let this word sink into their mind, into their hearts, into their brains. A lot of people have money, have houses, a lot of properties, but they have died and left them. Solomon was saying this, I have a lot of things, but somebody, somewhere, is coming to enjoy it. Hallelujah. <laughs> that, uh, that means everything that you have is waste. It's vanity. Vanity, 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 vanity. Hallelujah. Vanity. You need Jesus. I said you need Jesus. Say yes, I need Jesus. 
If you need him, accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. Hey, hey. I'm not joking. I'm serious. You need Jesus Christ in your life. My dear, you need Jesus Christ in your life. My sister, you need Jesus Christ in your life. My brother, you need Jesus Christ in your life. My mother, you need Jesus Christ in your life. My father, you need Jesus Christ in your life. Everybody who is watching me or listening to me, you need Jesus Christ in your life. I'm telling you the facts. You are going to leave everything that you have. Hey! It's very powerful. I always think about this. I have seen a rich man pass away and they bury him like a poor man. Oh, you see, he left everything, all his riches, all the money, everything that he has, he left it and they put him. The same way they put the, the poor man in the ground. So two of them are going down. The same way. But when you get to the heaven, those who have Jesus Christ will go and get a better place rather than you rich man without Jesus Christ. You go to hell. But if you are rich and you have Jesus, you will still go to heaven and then enjoy your life. Continue to enjoy what you have. Hallelujah. I'm trying to encourage you about the word of God. My dear, you need Jesus. May God bless you and keep you and give you your heart desire. In Jesus' mighty name. Subscribe this channel. Send it to your brother. Send it to anybody. Hallelujah. And ring the bell. May God bless you. Bye-bye. My name is Pastor Yao Abdul.